Hello, this is Luke Mel. This is a tutorial on the interplay between Google Earth and Gaia GPS. Um, Gaia does not come with Google Earth imagery because of some licensing agreement that I don't need to understand, but basically they can't serve Google's tiles because they're a, a for-profit subscription service, something like that. Um, and that's fine most of the time. The, this is the, the Esri Worldview satellite imagery that's in, um, that comes with Gaia Premium. Um, and it looks great over here, but then it looks pretty crappy over here. And it just often seems to work out that where Esri is bad, Google Earth is good, and vice versa. So if we look at Google imagery in this same region, it's much better. And of course, I'd want to have access to this um, to pull onto my phone and take on the trip. So let me uh, walk through those steps of getting Google Earth imagery, and then I'll also talk about how to get routes that were drawn in Google Earth, although it's the same if they were pulled in from Caltopo or any other uh, route planning software um, into Gaia GPS. So first, getting uh, the Google Earth base layer from your account, go into Map Sources. And you're going to want to import an external map source. Um, I'm going to give mine a dumb name, but you should call yours something like Google Earth. And then this is the, the magic part. You have to have this. Uh, URL uh, that's appropriate for Google Earth. And when you get the right URL here, you'll see a preview. So I've got that URL um, pasted here. I'll put this in the comments of this video. And then now you can see the preview um, of the Google Earth imagery. Uh, you have control over the minimum and maximum zoom levels. And just to show you what this looks like, if you bump it up to 19, Here's 16, here's 19. So uh, pretty incredible difference. The disadvantage of trying to download imagery at this resolution is that it'll just max out your phone's memory card. So probably not worth it. For me, 16 is, a, is pretty good. I've, I've very rarely wished I had something higher resolution. Uh, an exception to that might be like a search and rescue effort if you are looking at a very small zone uh, and want high detail within that zone. So when you're done with all this, just hit um, add this to the map source and then it will show up in your um, map layer drop-down. I didn't add it because I've already got it, but you'll just uh, see it automatically here. Here's my Google Earth. Okay, so that's how to get that custom source. You can do the same with Google Road or Hybrid or whatever. Um, you can even do it with things like the Strava heat map. Um, same process. Um, the next thing I wanted to show was importing the routes that I created in Google Earth. Um, it's, they make it pretty easy for you here. Um, go from your account into Upload and give it a name. And then you'll want to import uh, GPX or KML. If it's coming from Google Earth, you'll want to just have saved it as a KML. Um, I've got a bazillion of those here. And I can just choose one. and upload and then here is that that route I drew in this case it's just a route but it could have inclu included a bunch of uh, waypoints or potentially polygons um, I guess it does have some waypoints here so then you will be able to see these next time you open the app on your phone that's it super simple um, hope this was useful okay bye